Six months ago, I was sitting on my workstation when I heard somebody calling my name. Louis! It was my boss who, after restoring his AutoCAD to default, needed help adding his printing files back to AutoCAD. After helping him with that, and as I was getting back to my workstation, I heard Louis again. He needed help this time changing his interface background colors back. Now, it wasn't that my boss was new to AutoCAD. It was kind of the opposite. He had plus 20 years of experience using the program. Anyway, at this point, I realized that there gotta be more people like my boss out there and beginners users who need help with their first steps in starting AutoCAD. Hopefully they can find this video. All right, last week we went over how to create quick wall sections in AutoCAD. Today, let's go over some of the first steps when you are just starting in AutoCAD. So, when you just open AutoCAD for the first time, so you're gonna see a interface like this, and basically, uh, when I was telling you about the story of my boss, one of the first things that he uh, needed to do was uh, bringing back the printing files or CTV or plot styles, what's also called, uh, back into AutoCAD, right? Because when you restore AutoCAD to default, you basically lose everything. So I explained my boss that in order to do that, we're gonna need to go to the options um, using the OP shortcut. And basically here on this window, this is the options window. And to find our plot style or printing uh, files, uh, we're gonna go here on files. And then I told him that we have to find the printer support file path and open it then we're gonna go here and expand the plot style table search path so here i can simply select this and with f2 i could highlight it and with right click i did click copy so once i did that i could go back to a windows explorer here um and then here on the quick access search i'll simply say paste and press enter so once i do that um, autocad is opening the location of the plot style uh, file or again it's also called ctv file because that's the extension and this is basically files that uh, will tell AutoCAD how you want to print your drawings depending on a color. So for instance, uh, you can tell AutoCAD color red will print darker than color white and so on. So my boss needed to you know, have this uh, plot style file back into AutoCAD because if um, I'm gonna cancel that, Whenever he wanted to print using Control P shortcut, um, and here this is where the plot styles are located. Whenever he opened it, he couldn't see his uh, plot style file, so that was the issue. So again, I told him to open the options uh, dialog box, go to files, printer support plot styles and then we just found where this file was located so at this point the only thing that he can um, do was find his 
a plot style or CTV file. So for instance, he, uh, he had it here. So he can simply copy this file using the copy option, go back and using the paste option, place it in the AutoCAD location. Now, uh, this is one method, but I suggested him to do it uh, the other way, which was um, which was going here on the Windows uh, Explorer folder and simply click here and right click on your mouse and copy this path. So once you do that, if you copy that path where you store your plot styles. You could also go to the options and simply add a path. So again, selecting this, you could add a path and then paste the path that you just copied it. Again, that's your AutoCAD plot styles, press enter and then move it up one to have it like so. So the reason why I gave him this option was because if he ever um, need to update his AutoCAD version, what happened is he's gonna lose all of his um, custom plot styles if he only copied it to the regular AutoCAD, fa AutoCAD path. But if you have it in a new path like this, you could keep your plot styles. So again, at this point, you can simply click applies and okay and now if he try to print now and it doesn't still show his oops is right here lazy architecture ctv now he could simply select and pick his settings and be ready to print all right so another um, important step or first steps uh, whenever you are starting a, in autocad is uh like i said the story of my boss he wanted to have or change the color of his paper space background because the reason behind it is um white is not really a good color for your eyes because it will give you uh in the long run problems because it's really really bright so if we go to model space you can see this is where we're gonna draw and it's nice and dark but not here in paper space so I explained my boss that he could change the color of this uh, background using again the options um, command so again OP and press enter here he had to go to the display tab and then colors so as you can see here, context sheet layout, because this is the layout space, as you can see over here. And right now the interface background, it's color white. So we could simply change to a darker color, a black or whatever. But I suggested him that um, he picked the same color of his model space. So in order to get the exact color, I'm going to cancel that. You or he could go to model space and again use the same options and go to display colors. And once he did that, AutoCAD recognized that now he is in model space and not in layout anymore. So at this point, the uniform background color was this number, 3340 and 48. And again, he could go back, locate himself in layout and change it to this color. But uh, you could also do it from here. If you go to sheet or layout, that's uh, the layout over here. So now you are in layout and the background is white. So now that we know the color of model space is 3340 and 48, we can simply select that and then apply and hit OK. So now whenever he went to 
layout or paper space he will have the same nice dark color so it's better for his eyes again uh, you will know that you are in model or paper space or layout because you have this gray color around so you won't get lost now another thing that my boss uh, wanted to change when starting AutoCAD and you should consider these two is um, the start uh, tab these are called tabs so you have start tab drawing one tab and if you create a new drawing it will show up another tab here and basically the start tab um, he didn't want it to show because uh, he is not the way that he used it and even myself I never use this start uh, tab so I told him that he can um, turn off this tab whenever he opens out to cut um, using a system variable called start mode so this is a system variable and system variables are basically settings that controls the behavior of tools or or AutoCAD. So start mode and press enter. Here is set to one, but if you watch here on the start tab, when whenever I change it to zero, then watch here on the start tab and press enter, it will go away. So now whenever you open AutoCAD for the first, for the next time, you won't see this start start tab anymore so another thing that my boss wanted to change um, was and again you should consider this too um, is uh, the new drawing uh, or drawing one tab now he want, wanted also to avoid AutoCAD opening drawing one each time he uh, opens out to cut uh, so there is another system variable for this and it is called start up and if you press enter right now it's set to three but if you set it to two and press enter you can see that it looks like nothing happened the drawing one is still showing there but it is because it will update whenever you open AutoCAD again. So let me close this. I'm not gonna save changes because these changes will be only for this specific drawing, but so I don't wanna change this drawing. Now, whenever um, you open AutoCAD again, You can see that there is no start uh, a start tab or drawing one tab which is what my boss wanted in the first time and actually this is how I use AutoCAD 2 every day so the reason behind it is because since we have two monitors usually in the profession you have your AutoCAD opening one screen and your windows or explorer folder with your drawings on the other screen so that way you can go over and open your files from here quickly now let's go with the next uh, first things that you should do when starting AutoCAD for the first time and this is a uh, something that I saw many people are uh, talking about that they said that you should first set up your units now in order to explain this i'm gonna open a new drawing really quick and basically many people are saying that okay you should um set up your units first using the units command and pressing enter and go over your settings and then click OK but do you know how many times in 
all of these years that I've been working professional, professionally in an architecture office, how many times did I change the units on in AutoCAD? Zero. Yes, zero times I did set up units in AutoCAD. <laughs> and you know, my boss with uh, more than 20 years of experience, how many times um, have he set up his units? Zero too. <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna cancel this because I'm not gonna show show you the wrong way. Uh, basically, you only have to set up your units if you don't, if you are not sure that you're using uh, AutoCAD correctly with the right units. But basically, whenever you work on the profession, you wanna start AutoCAD from an existing project. So you simply will open up an old drawing that you did, open it, save as, rename it, and keep working on your new drawing. So that way you will never have to set units or change settings and anything like that. But if you are, let's say, starting a new project for the first, very, very first time, so what you have to do is create a new drone and then use the correct template. For instance, this template, E is for Imperial and then Architecture. If you are using um, metrics, so M that's for metrics, and then architecture this would be imperial mechanic metric mechanic so if you pick the right template in this case imperial architecture and open it so and if you check your your units this will have the correct units you don't need to even worry about them anymore so just for your knowledge i'm going to open units and you can see that it's set to architectural and inches which is the right units so again, units, you never had to set it up. You have to open all drawings and simply save as, rename your drawings so you can work quickly in AutoCAD. Now that you know the first steps when starting in AutoCAD, I'll see you over here with some of the most important concepts that you should know to learn AutoCAD today.